If you have plans to travel to or from TF Green, you will soon face some construction on the airport connector. The Department of Transportation is giving it needed repairs, and that's part of a number of major projects happening this summer. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni is joining us now from Warwick with what you need to know. Anita. Well, Chelsea and Brian, your ride to and from the airport will soon be a lot smoother, but it's not just the airport connector getting a needed facelift. Three miles of road near Route 1 will also be part of this project. Take the exit. When your GPS tells you to take the exit heading toward Rhode Island TF Green Airport, the smooth pavement is a noticeable difference than what once was. This time lapse video shows part of the resurfacing project has begun. It's no secret Rhode Island's roads have their fair share of potholes. Now a new initiative to fix that is underway and the airport connector is on that list. Rhode Islanders are going to see a big difference. The one mile stretch off Interstate 95 carries 20,000 vehicles daily, according to the Department of Transportation. In addition to resurfacing and paving, landscaping will be a big component of the connector's improvements. We have some temporary inconveniences, but the but the results that we give will be a permanent improvement. Leaving the airport is a much bumpier drive. By next summer, it will be as smooth as a roadway coming into the airport. DOT Director Peter Alvini says this is just one of 200 projects underway this summer. The agency's goal is to make traffic impacts minimal. We continue to look at new ways of doing things that will provide that new infrastructure at, um, at a very low level of inconvenience for the people of Rhode Island. Another summer project on the list, the East Bay Bike Path, which has begun construction Monday. Crews are resurfacing one part in Riverside to ensure a smooth and safe ride for bikers. Now back here in Warwick, the project here, the airport connector, will cost about $13 million and is set to be complete in June of 2023. Live in Warwick, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. Travelers going to and from TF Green Airport in Warwick will soon have a much smoother ride along the airport connector. It will be resurfaced and paved. It's just one of many projects on the dockets for the DOT this summer. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now live from Warwick with the details. Anita? Well, Mike, it's no secret Rhode Island's roads have their fair share of potholes, and now there's a new focus from the DOT to fix that, and the airport connector and surrounding roads are part of that project. Riding to and from Rhode Island's TF Green Airport will be much smoother. This time-lapse video shows the drive on the airport connector a much smoother ride than before, but the ride leaving the airport still has a lot of work to be done because of the permanent fixes and the new materials and methods that we'll be employing here will fix those pothole issues that we all hear so much about um, permanently. The $13 million project also involves a major landscaping component, all expected to be done by June of 2023. Director of the Department of Transportation, Peter Alvidi, says the one mile stretch off Interstate 95 carries 20,000 vehicles daily. The airport connector, one of roughly 200 active projects happening this summer. We've never done this much construction on our roads and bridges ever before. The East Bay bike path is one summer project that broke ground Monday. Crews fixing two parts of the path, including this portion in Riverside. The DOT says they are working to make sure delays are minimal during this peak time for roadway construction. This is it. We can build a lot of stuff in the summer and we're going to do that. <laughs> So the DOT plans on spending about $90 million over the next five years for resurfacing. So Rhode Island's roads may get a better, reputa better reputation in the years to come. Live in Warwick, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.